What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. So back in December, I did a video on how Realtor.com predicted a 2020 real estate market crash, and it looks like they were right. If you watch that video, and I'll link it below so you can go back and watch it, where CNBC reported that Realtor.com was predicting this real estate market crash in 2020. What they said was is that transactions were gonna go down and prices would fall in some markets. So if you'll notice, prices haven't went down yet in a lot of markets, but some markets they have. So, so far they were absolutely right on this prediction. So I wanna give my hats off to them. How did they know there was gonna be a pandemic and that transactions were gonna go down? Now, the big question is, is where are we going from here? That's the big question on everyone's mind. What's gonna happen once they do open up the economy? Where's the real estate market gonna go at that point? I was just reading an Inman article where there was an agent over in Beverly Hills that was predicting that real estate will boom right after they open up the economy because there's a lot of pent up demand. And I gotta say, I kind of agree with that. I think people that have been quarantined in their house for months on end are gonna be sick and tired of their house and ready to move. The problem is nobody knows what's gonna happen. Either way it goes, that should not change what we're doing doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just got off of a coaching call just a minute ago with this newer agent that's just getting into the market. And I told him exactly how he could start selling 100 properties a year right now. And I also gave him the end game. Okay, where do we have to be in order to never have to make another cold call in our career ever and still maintain that 50 to 100 deals every single year? Before I tell you exactly what I told him, I'm going to drop another video I did about a year ago. It's how to double your sales production. Three ways to double your sales production. Check it out in the description. It's worth your time. Now, this is what I told him. It's very simple. Okay, if you want to get to 100 deals a year, 50 to 100 deals a year, that's one or two closings a week. Okay, how do we get there? Okay, first I wanted to tell him the end game. Okay, where he wants to end up, where he never has to make a cold call ever again in his career. Where is that? That's five to 10,000 people in your database receiving a weekly email on the same day of the week forever. As soon as you get to five to 10,000 in your weekly email database, you're done. You are done. You're gonna sell 50 to 100 properties every year off that weekly email through repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. But first you gotta get there. You gotta put the work in to get there. And how can we sell 100 properties right now this year? It's not hard, here's the formula, right? The path is math. What we wanna do is we wanna have 20 possible deals going on at all times. Okay, a possible deal is someone who wants to buy or sell is thinking of buying or selling a piece of property within the next 90 days. That is a possible deal. You need 20 or more of those at all times. So you need a whiteboard in your office. You know, write down all the possible buyers or sellers that you have going on right now that might buy or sell something in the next 90 days. As you make that list and put those names on that board, you're gonna notice you don't have 20 yet. What does that tell you? You need to get on the phone and ramp that up and get it to 20 people. Do everything it takes. I don't care if it takes two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, three months to get to 20 names on that list. Now, once we're there, we wanna maintain the number of calls we need to stay there. So as we have 20 to 25 to 30 people who possibly might buy or sell a property in the next 90 days, and one of those people decide to buy, Okay, they put something under contract, they're now off that list. If they did list their property with you, they're off that list. If they decide to use another agent, they're off that list. If they decide they're gonna hang on for a while, they're just not ready yet, they're off the list. We have to replace those people. We have to maintain 20 possible deals at all times. This will get you to one to two closings per week. Now, when you think about it like this, it's very simple. You just make the calls, ramp up your possibilities, stay at 20 plus, you'll close one to two a week. I'm speaking from experience. As you're making your calls and closing properties and creating and maintaining this list of possible buyers and sellers over the next 90 days, you're gonna do a lot of business, okay? But you're also ramping up your database and trying to reach that five to 10,000 in your weekly email database. Now, it sounds like a mountain. It sounds like a really big number, but here's the thing. If you just concentrate on 100 at a time, let's just get to 100, let's get to 200, let's get to 300. All you have to do is do that 50 times, okay? So if you can just concentrate on, I'm just doing everything I can to get to the next 100, and you do that 50 times, that's 5,000. You are done, okay? If you've talked to that many people that have given you their email address, 
that you're sending this weekly email to, you're following up, you're helping, you're coming from the best intentions, you're the hardest working agent out there, you're doing everything you can do to help people, then you're gonna have the largest real estate business in your market. And I'll tell you something else that's crazy. I have over 30,000 agents in my real estate coaching program and only 80 of them have actually completed the 90 day action plan. Yeah, 80 people, that is it have completed the 90 day action plan and set up that free call with me. So when you complete the 90 days, we get on a call and we talk about what happened through the 90 days, what was your weaknesses, what can I help you with, what were your big victories, and we create a game plan moving forward to take you to the next level. Because when you complete that 90 days, that tells me you're a worker and I can afford to spend more time with you to help you get to your goals. Before I go, I'm gonna drop one more video and that's why only 1% of you will follow my lead. I am just dying for one of you to get where I am. I'm just dying for one of you to get to a million dollars a year, a hundred sales every year, and possibly even do YouTube and do coaching and publicly speak and write books and all that stuff. I'm just dying to help one of you do this. So I don't know if you're that person or not, but if you are, reach out to me and tell me so that I can start working with you to take you to the next level. Anyway, I hope you found a lot of value in this video. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.